Hi everyone, today I am here to bring you a Pilates tower workout using a physio ball. As far as equipment goes for this workout, you will need a springboard, tower, or Cadillac. You'll need a mat if you're using a um, tower or springboard. You'll also need a physio ball. Mine is quite firm and it is a large ball. As far as springs go for this workout, we're gonna keep it very simple. We're gonna use one heavy, short spring to um, elevate our push through bar and then we're also going to use two heavy long springs mine are purple with loops on them for some leg work later that is all you need as far as equipment as always during this workout please feel free to modify as necessary and make this workout your own when you're ready gather your equipment because this workout starts now Right, guys so we are gonna start seated on our ball at the center of our mat facing in towards your tower now if you have a springboard you're gonna walk yourself close enough that you can bring your hands onto the outside of the board for support if you have a tower you might have your hands on the uprights so use what you have to your advantage just to stabilize the upper body and bring your hips onto your ball you're going to bring your feet forward of the ball about sit bone distance or slightly wider and then i just want you to start by doing some shoulder rolls up back and down so take a breath inhale and lift the shoulders right up to the ears and then exhale roll them back and down and relax them down your back and again inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale let's do two more just like that finding that beautiful range of motion in the scapula last two and one more time settle the shoulder blades down lengthen the top of the head up to the ceiling and reach your tailbone down to the floor underneath you take a breath inhale and then exhale tuck the tailbone under and roll your ball slightly forward towards the wall in front of you inhale lengthen the low back and reach the crown of the head towards the ceiling again exhale roll the tailbone under maybe the ball rolls forward as well and then roll the ball backward and sit up nice and tall for now, we're gonna to try to isolate that movement in the pelvis and keep the shoulders staying directly over the hips as you just rock the pelvis to and fro. Let's do three. And inhale. And two, settling through all four corners of the feet. And last time. Sitting up nice and tall again, reminding yourself to anchor the shoulder blades down, reaching long through the crown of the head. Now we're gonna rock our right hip up to the right, and then our left hip up to the left. Just doing this little hip sway side to side, loosening up the sides of the waist and the low back. Go at your pace here, just a few more side to side. Nice. And making sure you're even, do one or two more. And come back center. So now we'll combine those two movements, the forward and the back and the side to side, into a hip circle. So you're gonna bring your right hip up to the right, tuck your tailbone under and reach it forward. Move your left hip to the left and then circle the ball back and around behind you. Once you get that movement pattern, you'll just um, smooth it out and make it more of a flow from right to front to left and behind. As much as you can, reducing the tension in the upper body and allowing the movement to stem from the circling of the pelvis. Okay, let's do three more this way. And two. And last time. Come back center, find that length from the crown of the head to the tailbone, and then we'll go the other direction. Left hip to left rib, around to the front, right hip to right rib, and back and around behind you. Good. And let's do three more here. And two. And one. Come back center. 
Remove your hands from your tower and bring them behind your head. Elbows lifted high to the front of the room. Slide your shoulder blades down and soften your ribs. Take a breath, inhale, get long through the back of the neck, and then exhale, rotate to one side. Good, inhale through center, get even taller through the body, and then exhale, rotate the other way. Nice, now while you're rotating through the upper body, concentrate on keeping each sit bone equally weighted in your ball. Nice, let's do one more each way. And last time through. Very nice job. Release your hands down. I am gonna turn around to face the center of the room just so I have some room in front of me because we're gonna end up laying on our back on the ball. So you wanna have room in front of you to walk the ball out. Hands can be on the ball or hands can be behind the head. Take a breath, inhale here and take some steps forward in front of you until your mid and low back are attached to the ball. You do want some room behind you so that you can arch your back over top of the ball. From here, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Head heavy in the hands, inhale your upper body back and over and then exhale, curl your head, neck and chest up and slide the front ribs down to the hips. Inhale back and over. And exhale, curl and lift. Good. As you lift the upper body forward, gaze comes forward. The front of the neck stays long. That's it. Let's do four more. Exhale, three. And one more time. Bring your upper body parallel to the floor now, elbows nice and wide. Bring your right elbow towards your right hip. Bring the torso forward. Bring your left elbow to your left hip and then circle back around. So just as we did with the lower body, now we're doing these upper body circles. Make the circles as big as feels comfortable for you. Exhaling as the torso comes forward. We'll do four more this direction. Exhale, three. Exhale, two. Really warming up to the core last time. Come back center. Parallel your upper body off with the edge of the mat. And then when you're ready, left elbow to left hip, around into center, right elbow to left, right hip, and then around. Good, keep going here. Let's do four. Head is still heavy in the hands. Last two. And one more time. Come back center, reach your arms forward and walk your feet back towards you so that you can sit all the way up on the ball. Very nice job. Okay, so from here we're gonna lay down. Walk that ball in front of you. We're gonna lay down so our head is towards the tower behind us. You do want some room between your tower and your head. And then we're gonna bring the backs of our calves onto the ball. Now I'm hugging that ball in nice and tight to me right now. Arms are down by the sides, I'm kind of pushing down into the ball with my heels and softening my ribs down. Take a breath, inhale, and move the knees over to the right. And then exhale, bring them back center, engaging the belly in order to initiate that action. Inhale the over to the other side and exhale back center. Staying here or as you move your knees over to the right, the left leg can extend. Then we'll bring the legs back center and then bend that knee and switch over. Top leg extends, center and bend over. Top leg extends, center and bend. Let's keep going side to side. I'm gonna play around here and just turn my palms up to the ceiling because I tend to grip in my shoulders and so this kind of prevents me from doing that a little bit. So again, like I said before, feel free to make adjustments to modify or change the exercises to benefit you in the, you know, most, the most that they can benefit you in particular. Good. 
Let's do one more each way. Last time. And then walk the ball away from you just a little bit. Heels on the ball, but about a 90 degree angle behind the knees. Heels can be about sit bone distance apart here. Take a breath, inhale, and then pressing your heels down, roll your pelvis up into a bridge. Inhale at the top, and then exhale, roll the spine down, one vertebra at a time. Let's do a few more just like that. Press the heels down, roll the spine up. Trying to keep those thigh bones parallel to one another, and then roll the spine down. Let's do three more. I notice with my client and myself as well, a lot of weird things can happen with the feet when your heels are on your ball and you're bridging. So really imagine that your pinky toes are pulling back towards the shins, flex at the feet, try not to pronate or supinate the feet. Stay nice and evenly grounded through the heels. And let's do one more. And roll it down. Nice job. Okay, heels together, toes apart in frog. Right on top of the ball. Inhale the legs away from you. And exhale, draw the heels back in. Inhale away, and exhale, heels back in. Float your arms up to the ceiling, and just continue on here, really imagining that you're pressing the ball away from you and pulling the ball in using your core. Relax your quadriceps and allow the core to make the most of the effort. Good, for four, and three. The last two, and one more time. Extend the legs away from you, still in that Pilates V. Bring your arms down by your sides, and now we'll work on a straight leg bridge. So backs of the inner thighs are squeezing towards one another. Take a breath here, and then as you exhale, roll the pelvis up off of the mat again, pressing your upper arm bones down into the mat, continuing to press your upper arm bones down as you roll down through the pelvis, releasing your tailbone to the mat. Let's do four more. Exhale to roll up. Reach those feet away. Inhale to roll down. Exhale to roll up. Inhale to roll down. Let's do two more. And last time through. Very nice job. From here, we're gonna hover the hips up just an inch and pull the heels in and out, and in and out. For four, if you're looking for more of a challenge, you could come to your elbows. Last two and last one. Extend the legs forward, roll the spine down. I have to adjust my socks, okay. Um, and beautiful. So now you're going to leave your heels on the ball. Make sure you're centered at your tower and you're going to bring your hands back and grab your push through bar and reach that push through bar up above your head. There's no spring on it right now. Take your time to make sure you feel like you're in alignment with your tower. From here, we're just going to press the bar up towards the ceiling a little bit and then lower back down. I just want you to come to the bottom tips of the ribs for now. Imagine how long your legs can be as you up lift the upper body. Let's do four more like that. Last two. And one more. Now stay lifted and pull the knees in and out, and lower the head. Again, lift, roll in, roll out, and lower the head. Let's do three more here. Two. And 
and one more time. Nice. Leave your feet where they are for a moment. I have to take my socks off. <laughs> They're going to drive me crazy. Okay. So, socks or no socks, we're going to bring our right hand to the center of the bar and turn our palm in towards us. Then we're going to bring our left hand behind the head and left knee in tabletop. From here, I want you to press up on that push through bar and rotate to the left and then inhale, lower back down. You've got a few goals here. One is to keep the ball still. The other is to keep the right hip anchored down into the mat and not allow it to rotate with you. Exhale and twist, inhale and lower. Exhale and twist, inhale and lower. Let's add a ball pull in as you lift the bar up to the ceiling. Pull the ball in, extend the ball away. That's it, four more. Three. And one more time. Lower the torso down, bring both feet back into Pilates V on the ball. We're gonna keep going with our upper body in that same way, but I want you to drag both feet in towards you as you lift the bar up. Press the heels slightly down into the ball as you lift and twist. Let's do four more. Staying as centered on the mat as you can. The last two. And one more time. Come back center, readjust. Switch out your hands. So left hand on the bar with the palm facing you. Right hand behind the head. Right knee in tabletop. Exhale, curl up and rotate to the right and down. You're pressing that bar up with a fairly straight arm. Your left hip is anchored into the mat. Your left heel is anchored into the ball. Good, your other elbow is floating up. So a lot of times I see this, which is great, a great exercise, but for now, I want you to keep that elbow lifted. Let's do three. One more time. Lower the torso down, bring both heels into Pilates V on the ball. Anchor your heels down, pull the knees in as you rotate the torso. Good. And lower. A little downward pressure of the heels into the ball will help activate the obliques just that little bit more. Last two here. And last time, lower everything back down. Hands back on the bar, feet back on the ball. Take a breath in here and then exhale. We're gonna press that bar up again, this time coming into a fuller teaser position. So we're gonna roll the spine up. You're gonna land right behind your tailbone and then you're gonna roll the spine back down with control. Now if that Full range of motion is not where it's at for you today. I want you to just get as high as you can in the upper body every time. That's it. Relax the feet. You've got three more. And two. Articulating the spine up and down. Last time, stay lifted. Pull the ball in and out. In and out. For four. Three. Try not to lose the height of the torso while you do this. Two and one. Reach the ball away. Roll the spine all the way down. Release that bar. Drag the ball in towards you. Grab it with your feet so you can place it in your hands. 
From here, you're going to start with your knees bent and place the ball to the fronts of the knees and then bring your hands on the other side of the ball with the elbows slightly bent. Compress the ball with your hands and your knees, shift the weight into your right knee and extend your left leg forward. Then bring that knee into the ball and bring your other leg forward. Very similar to single leg stretch, legs, elbows can be rotated out to the side for this exercise if it feels more comfortable. That's it. For four, three, two, and one more. Good. From here, stretch the arms long, stretch the legs longer. A soft bend in the knees is totally fine, if, especially if you have tight hamstrings. I want your tailbone heavy on the mat. And then we're going to do our legs again, but right leg long, bring it back up. Left leg long, bring it back up. Let's keep going. Last four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees, bring your feet all the way down. I'm gonna shift further away from my tower just so I have more room to reach my ball back behind me. So you may wanna do that as well. We're gonna work on double leg stretch. So bring your knees into your chest, bring your tall ball on top of your shins and grab onto the ball with this, on the sides with your hands. From here, extend your ball back and your legs forward and then bring your ball back on top of the ankles. And again, reach and bend. And reach, gazes towards the thighs throughout, and bend. For four, three, two, and one. Very nice job. Bring your left leg down to the floor, ball is still in hands. We're going to reach up and rotate to the right, bringing that ball outside the right thigh, and lower. And lift, and rotate, and lower. Stay here, or extend the left leg long towards the center of the mat. Last two on this side. Last one. Come center, switch out the feet, other side. Can you have the option for that toe to be down on the ground? Last three. And one more time. Nice job. Okay, from here, we're gonna hold the bar up to the ceiling for a moment and just start single leg stretch legs, one leg reaching out at a time. And then we're gonna slow this movement down and add rotation towards the knee that's coming in. So right knee in, rotate to the right. Left knee in, rotate to the left. Right knee in, rotate to the right. Left knee in, rotate to the left. For four, reaching to the ankle, three. The last two, and one more. Beautiful job. Ball to the ceiling. Grab onto the ball with your feet. Bring your hands underneath your low back or next to your low back, and let's do lower lift. So press your low back down to the mat, squeeze into the ball. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Now, depending on the weight of your ball, your range of motion may be very small or bigger. They want your back to feel safe throughout this exercise. Last three, two, and one more. Grab the ball with your hands. Extend your legs long on the mat. Flex your feet so toes are pointing up to the ceiling. Take a breath. And then exhale and roll the spine forward, reaching the ball forward towards the feet. Once you get to the top, point your feet, press the ball down on top of them, and get a nice stretch through the fronts of the shins. 
Grab the ball again, sit up tall and roll down. And let's roll up again. Press the ball on top of the feet and sit up tall. One more time and roll up. Very nice job. So here's our challenge. We are gonna do a little standing work. And so I like to try to stand up using the ball to counterbalance our body and try to just lift off the floor with our ankles crossed. If that doesn't feel doable today, and it may not be doable for me today, I just really have no idea if this is going to actually come to fruition, but um, if you're coming along for the ride, you're gonna cross one ankle in front of the other, you're gonna anchor the sides of your feet into the floor, and you're gonna grab the ball with your hands, then you're gonna use the ball's momentum to bring you forward and up to stand. If that doesn't work, just stand up, okay? Let's go, let's try it. So take a breath, inhale here, float the ball off the floor, exhale, press the outer feet into the floor, rock yourself forward, and see if you can come up to standing. All right, something to work on if that didn't happen for you today. Um, something to work on as a goal. All right, stand sideways on your mat. Grab your ball for a little standing work. Feet are about shoulder distance apart, toes slightly turned out, or whatever position feels good for your squats. From here, we're gonna sit down into a squat and bring that ball forward, and then stand up and release the ball towards the hips. Again, sit and stand, sit and stand. Let's do five more, four, Three, hips go back and down. Two, and last time. Here we are, sitting low in our squat and we're gonna float the arms up. Shoulder blades again sliding down for eight, seven. Last four. One more round of squats. Come up and down. Seven, six, Last four, last two, and last one. Arms go forward, now you squat your hips lower for eight, seven, six, last four, last two, and one. Stand all the way up, beautiful. Shake out those legs, turn sideways. Take one of your feet out to the side and shift your weight fully, almost fully, into your standing leg. From here, we're gonna reach out on an angle and down. Out on an angle and down. So this outside leg is very light and I'm leaning over as far as I can to activate my obliques. If you'd like to challenge your balance and you wanna float that outside foot, you can, or the toe can be down the whole time. Let's do four, ooh, three, two, and one. And now draw the knee in and tap and stretch. Tap and tap or tap and hover. Last four, three, two, and one and come down. Give those arms a second. We'll switch it out to the other side. Shift your weight into your opposite foot. Keep your toe tap down onto the ground. Lift and lower. Finding that angle through the torso. And then option to hold the foot hovered to challenge the balance a little bit more. Ooh. Last four. Always a um, side that challenges us a little bit more. Last two, and one more. And then tap the knee and stretch. Tap the knee and stretch. Last four, three, and one more. 
Good, bring that ball to the chest. We have one more thing to do here standing. So standing at the center of your mat, feet about shoulder distance apart. We'll sit down into our squat and then we'll lift the ball to one side, sit down into the squat and then lift it to the other. Down, reach. If you wanna add that hover of the leg, do it. Down, reach, down, reach. For eight, seven. Getting a little bit of our heart rate to lift. Last four, three, and one more. And rest, very nice. Place the ball down. Let's change modes. We're gonna put our long purple springs on our tower. If you have a springboard, I'm putting mine on number five on my springboard. Um, your goal is when you're laying down and your feet are lifting towards the ceiling, that the springs are almost parallel to the floor, a little higher than maybe you're used to or that you do every day. Come on down onto your back. <clears throat> Bring your heels onto your ball for a moment. Align yourself with the center of your tower. Bring one foot into your loop. Reach that foot forward and hold your ball still. Bring your other foot in. This is challenging as it is. And bring that other foot into the loop. Arms down by the sides. Woo! Try to anchor both heels into the ball. Tailbone heavy. If you need upper body support, you could have your hands up on your dowel so that you don't slide towards your wall. Shoulder blades down, ribs connected. From here, lift one leg up and press it down into the ball. Then lift the other leg up and press it down into the ball. Let's keep going. Good, so you're heavily using the glutes and hamstrings throughout the exercise. Four, three, two, last one. Can you land in Pilates V with your heels on the ball? Now see if you can drag the ball in towards you and press it away. And drag it in towards you and press it away. Whoa, lots of glutes and hamstrings here. You've got four, three, Two, and last one. Now, if your hands aren't already up on your wooden dowel or your uprights, please take them there. Anchor through the shoulders, stand in your hands, keep your legs straight in Pilates V, tuck your tailbone under and float the hips up off of the mat and then roll it back down and float it up and roll it down. Let's do two more and then we'll have a little challenge. Not that this isn't challenging enough. Last one, float the hips, and then can you elevate your heels off the ball and kind of float up and down? If the ball rolls away, don't worry about it. You've got four, three, two, and one. Heels down, maybe on the ball, maybe not. Roll the hips down. Oh, and let's take those straps off. Very nice job. My ball is gone. I'm gonna bring one foot to the floor and bring my other hand behind the calf and just take a hamstring stretch and relax for a second. Nice. Let's switch sides. <sighs> hamstring stretch. Nice job. All right, come on up. We're gonna to come to kneeling and do a little outer hip work. I do have an added cushion because this floor is like rock solid. Um, if you need an extra cushion for underneath your knees, please feel free to grab something and then stand or kneel sideways on your mat so that you have room to one side to extend your outside leg. From here, hug the ball in nice and close to your hip, press your hip into the ball, and lean your upper body over onto the ball. 
Make sure you feel nice and centered, hips stacked one on top of the other. If you can reach your hand down to the floor, do it. My fingertips reach. And then top hand on the hip. From here, we're just gonna float and lower outside leg, reaching the leg as long across the room as possible. Take your time if you need to make any adjustments so that you feel stable. You can always pause the video, adjust, and then get back into it when you're ready. Okay. Let's do four more. All about the length. Three, two, and then hold the foot up and take your hand behind your head. Bring your foot back and your torso forward, rounding forward over the ball, and then bring your foot forward, maybe flex it and open the chest back. Round the upper body forward as the leg reaches back behind. Flex the foot and kick forward as the upper body opens. Let's do four. Three. Two. And one more. And up, hold that leg side. Little lifts up, last exercise, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knee bends, both hands onto the ball, press yourself up, press your hips away from the ball, press the ball away. Stretch down the side of the waist. And then turn that ball around to the other side. All right, here we go. So kneeling on your cushion or your mat. Oh, I think I might have to move a little further away. Bring your hip up onto the ball. Shift your ball and your hip into the ball. Reach over. Find a good stacked hip position here. Top hand, oh, this bar is handy, <laughs> okay. Top hand um, on your hip for now. And now let's lift and lower. Good, lengthen. Still front ribs are connected the, to the hips. Lots of abdominal engagement. Good, we know what's coming. Nice, three, two, hold the leg up, hand behind the head, flex, lean back and kick forward, round and reach back with the toes. And again. That's it. We've got four more from here. Try not to hold your breath. Watch your shoulder. Last one. Hold the leg side. Eight little lifts. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, oh, knees down. Hips away from the ball, hands on the ball, stretch. Very nice job. Come on up. Remove your cushion, if you're using one, get it out of your way. And we're also going to take our long purple springs off if they're in the way of your push-through bar. So now we're gonna put our push-through bar up and attach one heavy spring to it. My spring is about shoulder height when standing. And then we're gonna come on down to the mat, watch your head, come on underneath the bar. Your heels are gonna be on that bar again. I'm sorry, on the ball again, hands on the bar. Heels in Pilates V away from you. From here, legs are nice and straight. We're gonna roll up into that bridge again with straight legs, lift the hips, and then play around with our arms. So I want you to slide your right elbow towards the floor and back up, grab the bar, and then switch and back up. Grab the bar, switch, and back up, trying to keep the ball nice and evenly centered as you move through opposite arm. Woo. 
Ooh. Really elevate the pelvis. You've got four and three and two and one, and then maybe both elbows pulled down and up. If you're on a tower, you could pull the bar down and then reach the arms back behind you. On the springboard, you're not gonna have that range, but feel free to take advantage of that range if you're on a tower or a Cadillac. Last three here. Hips are still high, two, and one more time. Arms up, hips down. We are gonna do one more round of teasers, okay? So you can stay with your version that we did before where your heels stay on the ball and you lift your upper body up. I'm gonna do one or two of those and then I'm gonna to transition to holding the ball with my feet. Um, pick and choose what you'd like to do. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, roll the torso up off of the mat, reach long through the toes, and then control the spring bar as you roll the spine down. Let's do one more. And down. Now, if you'd like to try holding onto the ball, you're going to roll the ball towards you, grab the ball with your feet, and start in tabletop with the knees wide. Roll the spine up and extend the ball forward, long legs, and then bend the knees as you roll the spine down. And again. Collarbones wide, scapula reaching down the back. Let's do three more. And two. And last time, hold it there for a beat. Hold for four, three, two, and one. Lower the torso down, anchor the ball with your heels, lift the bar up and release it. And let's come up to standing. Again, watch your head. All right, coming up to standing, we're gonna face the push through bar. You're gonna bring your ball back behind you. So one hand on the push through bar, then we're gonna take one shin onto the ball. Make sure you're facing your tower and then slide the ball back behind you and come into this kind of luxurious hip stretch here. Upper body is fairly upright, arms are long. You could hold onto your uprights instead here if you wanted to put the push through bar away. Good. Maybe roll a little bit forward and back. And then carefully press into the front foot to roll the ball back in towards you. And we'll switch to the other side. Shin on the ball. Hips square to the tower. And then roll the ball back. Great. Maybe rolling in and out slightly. And coming all the way in. One more stretch today. Stand behind the ball. Bring one of your shins forward onto the ball and sit down. Then swing your back leg back behind you like a pigeon pose if you were on the mat and lean the body forward. If you have the push through bar and you feel comfortable, you can push the push through bar forward. If you'd rather keep the torso more upright, please feel free. Where you should feel the stretch is in the outer hip. Good, and then if this doesn't feel comfortable on the ball, you can do the same stretch on the mat. Hang out here for a few moments, trying to relax your body down And then when you're ready, bring the bar up if it's down. Walk your other foot around to the side and stand up and we'll switch. So shin on, hips down, walk your leg back. Reach your bar, bar forward as an option. Good. You can add some small hip circles here or stay nice and still. 
roll the bar up, bring the foot around, stand all the way up, move the ball. Shift the ball out to the side just so it's out of your way. Stand at the center of your mat. Inhale the arms up overhead and exhale the elbows wide, arching the spine, lifting the sternum towards the ceiling. Let's do two more. Inhale and exhale. And last time through. Inhale and exhale. And you guys are all done. I hope you enjoyed that tower workout. Please leave me a comment or a question down below. Let me know how you got on. As always, please subscribe and share, and I will see you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.